Hello and welcome to Nana's Kitchen. How are you today? My name is Dorothy and I'm from Rossville, Georgia. And this is my kitchen. Hello, Michelle, how are you? So guys, I'm just making dinner. And so what I'm gonna make tonight is a cream spinach. Hey, Cynthia, how are you? Hey, Lisa, I'm gonna make cream spinach and lamb chops. Do y'all eat lamb chops? Um, my husband and my friend are, um, that eats with us, she, they both love lamb chops and it's so simple, guys, so very simple. Um, and so I just wanted to bring that to you. Let me get this pan going. I've shut off the fire alarm. I have unplugged the fire alarm. This is my life. Hey, Rob, how are you? So, guys, I just have um, a few lamb chops here. And then I'm going to, when they're in the oven, um, finishing up, I'm going to make some cream spinach. Um, Lisa, I've been getting these at Costco and they are right in line with every other meat that's there. Last week we tried to grab a few more. He wanted the lollipop ones for me to do in the Instapot, but um, they were out, so I'm hoping for those this week. Uh, so here's the little lamb chop guys, just little, little bite-sized pieces. Um, so they're getting three each. Um, my, the, the way my family likes it, I just do a quick push into just the steak seasoning, the Montreal steak seasoning. But I need for my pan to be super hot, so I'm waiting. It's not quite there yet. So I'm just going to push this little guy over there. Finish putting, dipping them on each side. This just puts a nice little crust on it. Um, the thing about lamb is you don't want um, to overcook it. So uh, again, I'm just gonna quick brown on each side, on, on the two main sides. These have a pretty good size bone in it, like a T-bone. And then I'm gonna pop them in the oven while I am doing the uh, spinach. All right, let me get this out of my way. Be right back. So what did you guys do? Hey, Nancy. Nancy, I just love watching you. You make me happy. You and, you and Lisa, just keep on moving, keep on moving. All right, I see a little sizzle, guys. Again, just steak sauce. Oh, not quite hot enough. I'm gonna hold off. I need that to be pretty hot. But I don't want it to burn either. I want it to just get a good, uh, nice, crunchy sear on it. Hey, Tina. Hey, Tristan, how are y'all today? Guys, if you're catching me live, you'll know that by the live in the top button. And if you'll put a one in the comments, and tell me where you're from. I always love to see that. And if you are catching me on a replay, hashtag replay. Again, tell me if you're um, where you're coming from. And if you're new to Nana's Kitchen, tell me new. All right, guys. There we go. That's the sizzle I was looking for. And even though my uh, fire alarm's off, I am going to push on the fan just a little bit. Not the full strength. I am doing great, Christian. Thank you for asking. I had an amazing day at school. We got some more students logging on to the online summer platform so that they can make up some classes. And so, 
I'm really excited about that. Hang on. Even though I have gloves on, I can't stand stuff on my hands. Um, so we had a great day at work. I came in. My husband said, I saw you laid out lamb chops. I'm like, yes. And so we're going to have that. Uh, my lunch today was fabulous. Uh, I made the umtma. U-P-M-A. Um, an Indian dish. It was delicious. That's what I will have for tonight again. So I had it for lunch. I'll have it for dinner tonight. It was fabulous. I absolutely loved it. Hey, darling. How are you? Alright, guys. See, I've got just a nice brown crust. Again, I'm not trying to cook these all the way through. I'm just trying to get the, a good sear on them. And then I'm going to pop them in the oven while I finish my meal. Tristan, what did you do today? Trim, what did y'all do? Rob, what's up? Thank you for the hearts, guys. I really appreciate it. And guys, sharing is caring, so if you can share this out, I greatly appreciate it. I enjoyed it last night. Um, someone that was watching really... Um, seem to be getting something out of it, so we had a long conversation about keto and, and all of that, and so that was wonderful. That's what I want to do. I want to help everybody. So, hey, Wanda. Hey, Linda. How are y'all? Linda, is it already popping hot out there? We're doing lamb chops. Hey, Carla. Go ahead and flip over to the bone side and let this let that close it off. So what did y'all eat today? No one's talking. Do you like lamb? If you like lamb chops. Give me a little lamb in the emoji in there. A little sheep. Somehow or another, I've always been the meat preparer in my family, even when I was younger and at home. Uh, that's one of the things that, that I did, I learned to do. And, um, Yes, I'm a vegetarian. It doesn't bother me to cook for my husband, so it, this is no big deal for me. Okay, guys, I'm going to move this into... Look at them, guys. They're looking good. I'm going to turn this on high while I run to the oven, get that smoke out of my way, and then we are going to start on the spinach. Well, let's see guys, let me grab my stuff that's sitting over here and move it to over here. So we're going to do that. Hey, Joyce. And just so I have some, a little oil in here, I'm just gonna, just cause I can reach it, um, add some coconut oil just so I can, there we 
going off. All right. until it gets melted. I have it on a, a medium to low heat. Uh, this eye actually has a sauce uh, setting so it goes super low. Um, so I have to adjust it sometimes when it gets a little lower than I want it. Marcus, what'd you do today? Hey, Tommy. I appreciate everybody jumping on. Remember guys, if you're watching me live, put a one in the comment. If you're watching me on the replay, hashtag replay. If you like lamb chops, put little sheep in the in the emojis. My husband loves them the way I do them. Um, the way I just did it, very quickly, very simply. Um, I took my lamb chops out. I dipped them into the Montreal steak seasoning. I got my oil, um, olive oil piping hot. And then I just brown them um, r really well on um, three sides, the two main fleshy sides and the bone side. 
just because. And then I pop them in the oven. Hey, Nor Noreen, how are you? Where are you coming from? Hey, there's nothing better, Marcus, than the playing, playing with those babies. All right, guys, this is about smoothed out where I can lower it into my sauce setting, which is very, very low if you don't have a one called a sauce setting. And now I have prepped my um, spinach. I've taken off the little stems of it. I've washed it. And I'm just going to pop it in here. Give it a toss, and that's it, guys. Hey, Amy, how are you? Hey, Faye. You love pork chop, uh, lamb chops? Yeah, um, my husband does too. I, he didn't think he would, and then he married me and crazy Italian woman fixing lamb chops. Um, so he is now used to eating them, enjoys them. Um, we tried to get the lollipops. I was going to do those in the Instapot, uh, attempt to do those in the Instapot. I have never done that before, um, but they were out. So that's on our agenda for next week, I hope, if they have them. So we just go with whatever they have. All right, guys, this is ready. Look how creamy it is. I mean, it's not ready. It's still got to cook. Uh, but it's ready for me to put the lid on. And I'm just going to let that do its thing. And now you have seen me that quick. Now it's just a matter of me sitting back and waiting on the food to finish. The lamb chops will be finished probably in about another 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to flip them. They are in the oven at 350. Again, I just browned them really well on both sides. I did do the bone side just because I feel like I need to. And I put them on parchment in the oven and then just finished up the uh, making the cream spinach. The spinach just has to uh, finish cooking down. Once that's done, Voila, dinner is finished. And I appreciate each of you joining me. Guys, sharing is caring. If you see any value in this, please uh, share it out. If you have questions about anything about my lifestyle, keto lifestyle for my husband or I, I am happy to answer questions. Uh, I'm sure there are people on here that can attest. I will answer any of your questions that I can. And if I don't have the answer, I will find the answer as well as tag you on some very informative videos. Hey, Rosetta, how is uh, Canada? Are you in Canada right now or are y'all home visiting? Thank you, Rosetta. I have lost 20 pounds. My husband has lost 34. So I'm so proud of him. It is delicious. Uh, my family loves it, Dar Darlene. You know, I'm a vegetarian, so I don't eat it. But my husband and my um, best friend, they absolutely love it. Um, and so it's a quick, easy meal. And I don't think people really think about lamb as being so quick and easy. Um, this is CJ. I love it. Well, good, good CJ. Hey, Wanda. Um, well, you know, Loretta, um, Rosetta, let me know. Do hashtag replay just so I know who's watching. I would love to know who's watching. And, of course, I know you're from Canada. Or, well, we grew up together. But now you're in Canada. How's everything going? Did they get your fence fixed, Rosetta? From where the car uh, decided to visit you? I wonder. I haven't. I haven't seen anything. Sometimes uh, uh, Facebook loses uh, your 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 friends for ads, um, and I hate that. Thank you for all the hearts, guys. I absolutely love it, um, and I hope that y'all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I, I've done two savories in a row now. I know I'm supposed to be coming to you with something of a dessert. 
Um, and who knows if I get in the, oh, I have a, I have a class tonight, so maybe not. Um, uh, so we'll see if I get in the mood to come back on tonight with a dessert or if tomorrow will be the dessert. So, um, again, I, I love all the emojis, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful and blessed day. If you want to be uh, my recipes or any other recipes, uh, remember that you have to be a friend of mine and private message me to add you into the group. Ask me any questions you want. I'm happy to, to help you on your journey. I love to hear about how you came to be on this keto journey along with me. So um, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye guys.